In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Neri, priest. This mass is offered for the souls of Laetitia Tapasan. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I fail to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most previous faults. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself. Graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may hidden in us that fire with which he wonderfully fulfilled the heart of Saint Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Look upon us. Show us the light of your mercies. And put all the nations in dread of you. Thus they will know, as we know, that there is no God but you, O Lord. Give new signs and work new wonders. Gather all the tribes of Jacob, that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you name your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Give evidence of your deeds of old. Fulfill the promises spoken in your name. Reward those who have hope in you and let your prophets be proved true. Hear the prayer of your servants, for you are ever gracious to your people, and lead us in the way of justice. Thus it will be known to the very ends of the earth that you are the eternal God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks Lord. Show us, O oh Lord, the light of your kindness. Show us, o Lord, the light of your kindness. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. 
then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God 
is ever merciful. He answers our prayer. We need God and we trust and have confidence in God because He is the merciful God, the God of the universe. And the third quality is His prayer has not been answered yet, but He keeps on praying. Perseverance. Perseverance is the good quality of the prayer. He continued to pray. In today's gospel, we have James and John came to Jesus and asked him to do them a favor. It is a request, a prayer of petition. Their prayers was not answered directly, but God always answers our prayer in the way that He knows the best of us. So He asks them, Will you be able to drink the cup and drink the cup of salvation, the cup of suffering and sacrifices for others, so that they will end up in the glory of God and they accept God's invitation? Sometimes we pray for one thing and God gave us another thing. What is better for us, like James and John? He gave us the best thing for us. In today's gospel, Jesus teaches us that greatness in the kingdom of God is to serve one another, to love others, so that we may receive the glory of God in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray that Holy Spirit may guide us our pray, prayer, that we may be able to serve others better and better every day so that we may enter into the glory of the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, we know of the love of God through reading and hearing the scriptures. Let us pray in our knees to our loving God. The Pope Francis and all the leaders of the church will be minister of the world in both spirit and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That those who serve in public office will always work for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That all who contemplate marriage will be strengthened in their love, and all married couples will grow together in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That those who are deprived of freedom or persecuted for their faith may receive the reward of God's rewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all of us gather in this holy place will feed the touch of the Lord and respond with generosity to the call of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For peace throughout the world, especially in Middle East and in Myanmar, we pray to the Lord. Lord that all who have died, especially Leticia Tapasen and Father Joaquin Naimo, that they will be embraced by the Lord of life and enter into eternal life in the company of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. We pause for a moment for our special intention. We pray to the Lord. Merciful God, hear the prayers of your people, bring to you and bless us. Grant this to us in faith and hope, through Christ our Lord. Bless our creation, for through your goodness.
as we have received the bread we offer you through all the earth and walk our human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless I, O God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through our divine and work of human hands, it will begin our spiritual dream. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be as a to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of Saint Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you found it in you. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when Sabah was a day, he took the chalice and was more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
We may merit your bequest to eternal life. Let me praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We have this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us to trespass against us, and lead us now Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from heavy evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Please, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who is arranged forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the signs of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and the sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and the sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you, God, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no body, that you shall enter into my room. I will say the words I shall
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of Saint Philip, we may always long for the food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorify God with your lives. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defense and the day of battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the devil. May 